Hi, we're back today to do the next in our Holy Week handprint crafts on Holy Friday. And Holy Friday is a very special day in our church as we recognize the day that Jesus died. So I'd like to read to you today from our story Bible, The Day Jesus Died. It was a very sad day when Jesus died. The soldiers who arrested Jesus teased him for pretending to be a king. They took his clothes and put a king's purple cloak on him. They made a crown of vines with sharp thorns and put it on Jesus's head. Ouch. The soldiers made Jesus carry a heavy wooden cross. The cross was too heavy for him. Jesus fell and skinned his knees and the cross tumbled to the ground. A man in the crown in the crowd carried the cross the rest of the way. The soldiers nailed Jesus's hands and feet to the cross. They raised Jesus's cross up on a hill between two other men. The other men were thieves and they were being crucified too. One of the men was angry with Jesus. If you are a powerful king, can't you save yourself? Why don't you save us too? The man spat at Jesus, but the other thief believed in Jesus. He shouted back, don't you know who this is? This is God's son. He hasn't done anything wrong. We are being punished for our mistakes, but Jesus shouldn't be here. The man turned to Jesus and asked, will you take me to heaven with you? Jesus looked at the man and loved him. Jesus told him, yes, today we will be in heaven together. Chase is scared. Oh, it's all right. I know it's a little bit scary and a little bit sad. Yeah, Chase is sad. After a while, the world grew very dark as if a terrible thunderstorm was coming. It was as, as if all of creation was crying because Jesus was about to die. Jesus was feeling all alone and prayed to see if God was still there. Of course, God never left Jesus. God was with him the whole time. I want it to be. Jesus looked at the crowd. He was so sad that people didn't believe that he was God's son. He asked God to forgive them for killing him. The soldiers offered him some sour wine, but he didn't want to drink it. He was ready to die. Finally, Jesus had fought for long enough. He said, God, the work you gave me to do here is finished. Shh, Chase needs to listen. Shh. But she doesn't want to listen. He breathed a final long, slow breath, and then he died. Chase is crying. Now, as Isabel and Chase said, that is a pretty sad and scary story, but we have more special times to come. Um, so today, to help us remember this part of the story, we are going to make Jesus's hands with the spots where the nails went into them. So I've made mine here, be careful. And Isabel is gonna make hers right now. We're gonna show you how we did it, all right? Chase is scared to see. All right, can you hold up one of your hands? We're gonna paint two hands today to be like Jesus's two hands. So we'll do this one first. Ready? Oh, Ready for the paint? I'm too puffy. Okay, spread out your fingers wide and we'll push it down. All right, very nice. We're gonna wipe off that hand. Yeah, that's amazing. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks better than yours. Oh, it looks really nice. All right, let's um, have the other hand, please. Okay. We're gonna paint this one too. All right, can you hold your fingers out wide? There we go. Lift up, 
Can I do the blood? Yes. Now, Isabel said she wants to do the blood with her paintbrush, right? Yeah. In the middle of the palms. Another option would be to use like your thumb and stick it in the paint and then stick it in the middle of the palms. But Isabel is going to use a paintbrush. Here's some red paint. That looks great. Very nice. I think that's enough. That shows really well no. where the nails went into Jesus's hands. Why did they want him to die? Well, they didn't like him and they were scared of him. Why were they scared of him? Well, they didn't understand his message about God's love and they didn't want him to be king. Right? Why didn't they want him to be king? I think because they wanted to be the powerful ones. Why did they want to be the powerful ones? Some people just want to have a lot of power. All right, let's show what you did, and then you can continue to paint a little more if you'd like to. Will you hold it up and show everybody? Um, show all your friends at home. Very um, nice. I think they're scared of it. They might be a little bit scared too. All right, well, thank you for joining us today. We have another craft for tomorrow for Holy Saturday, and then we'll do a special one for Easter. Thank you so much.